again. It's live from Somerville. Hit up Wally's U Bullet. I know they've already got, I know they had three, at least three forerunners. I've already been there a couple times this year. It's negative 10 today, at least, something like that. Had to bust out the car hearts. Stereotypical Wisconsinite. Tonight. I'm also going to run to Menards, get some more supplies. I can finish my drawer system in the back of the 4Runner. Right now it's just empty, but it still works. I just want to finish it and put some drawers in there. Here's our first door panel. I mean, it looks pretty beat up. Let's see what else they got. Is it really worth it? Yup. On to the next one. Slim pickings around these parts. So I just popped the hood just to see what's underneath there. Then I remembered, hey, why not try and take this grill so that I can try and customize my grill, but this way I won't have to drive around without one while I'm trying to do that or be rushed to do the grill the way I want to do it because I don't want to drive around without one. actually go underneath the headlights the, the, the little trim pieces and I'm gonna drill some holes in here so you get that cool look underneath your headlights and I like that look I want to go for that and might as well grab these so like I said just in case I mess up <laughs> so yeah we'll see how that goes Now we're off to Menards to get the rest of the stuff to finish the drawer and uh, storage unit in the back of the 4Runner. So, here we go. So I just wanted to show you guys what I got today then. You saw what I got at the junkyard. Separate project. This is the cargo area with the two pull-out drawers. And there's the tether points in the back cargo area. There's four of them. And I w want to secure this cargo area to those four tether points. And to do so... I have four of these, they were 69 cents at Menards to put into the cargo deck that I built. And then I bought four of these, which will hold the cargo deck to the, to the four tether points. And then you can spin this and you tighten it down. Four of those. I think these were like a $1.50 or something. For the front of my drawers, and then 16 feet of one by four for the drawers themselves. And then another day I'll go and get the plywood for the bottom. And as well as the sleeping platform extensions. So I would have to get more plywood to make that, but we'll get that done before summer, but we'll continue this another day. Here it is, after the sanding, then a 220 sanding, and this is the open spots that you're left with, that you'll have to fill in, 
but yeah, let's see what turns out to be so far. Next up. today and how I got to where I am. I sawed out all the insides of the grill and then I actually went to the local hardware store, picked up a one individual piece of leaf gutter guard and ended up flattening it all out. It, it, took, it took a while to get the edges bent to fit how say the SRQ fabrication ones would fit nice and snug a lot of patience and in the end a little bit of JB weld on I believe five of my tabs that were flush I didn't have enough to do all my tabs but it's already setting up and tomorrow should be able to take off the zip ties and worry about touching up the paint and looking into the possible badge logos for deciding which one I want to go with or which one might be the best bang for my buck, best look altogether. I've cut all the holes in the gutter guard, got the lights mostly how I want them after I got the grill lights wired up the rest of the lights that came in the pack, which were six left, I decided to put three in each trim piece underneath the headlights. To do that, I used um, punch tool. Um, it fit through the pre-drilled holes, and then on the back side of the piece of trim, you would screw on the punching um, piece of metal onto the bolt, and twist it and tighten it down until it punches through the three quarter inch size hole that you need to fit those LED lights in. And then I just wired those together. I did splice in a 15 amp inline fuse on each of the trim pieces. And I just spliced the trim pieces into the existing blinker wires and grounded it. Today I was able to get my grill lights hooked up to my headlights and my turn signals spliced into the original turn signals. Let me show you what it all looks like. 